The CAD MAN report tools are written to take input from any CSV file. The important thing is the first column needs to contain the name of a component or skip file. Then all the other headers can be whatever you want, cost per unit, power requirements, product numbers, etc. There are three sample header files in the plugins CADMAN report tools folder for you to use to get you started. The tools read from this header and data file to generate forms and reports. So go to model info report and it spits out a text file list of layers and component names that are in the model. Copy the component names to the clipboard then open up a template header file and paste them into the first column and you have the beginnings of a data file for those components. Just clean it up by removing any duplicate names in the column and then flesh the data file out with pricing, descriptions, SKU numbers, etc. If there are too many subcomponent names in the text output, simply pre-select the main components and the model info report will output only the names of the selected items. You can see there are now fewer names to deal with here. Once you've put in pricing and descriptions and URLs, you're ready to mass label applying the data information from that spreadsheet file to any model file. The mass labeler recurses through all sub-assemblies and groups to find all components whose names match the data file entries. Select the data file and type in a name for the library to which you want the information associated. Maybe I'll use BN for Barnes & Noble. And I will accept to overwrite any pre-existing data that may already be associated with any components from that library. This allows you to mass update components if you change the data spreadsheet values during design. It goes through and processes some 5,500 items. And then run a quantity report on the model. Find the BN library and take all the defaults to report all the attributes and it generates a CSV report file for that library name with a row for each item counted and entries for each based upon the data column values. It's easy to do a cost analysis. Add a new column and then input unit cost times quantity. Flood fill that down the column to the bottom of the report and sum that total cost column. And there is your project cost estimate. You can remove all the attributes from a file. Go to Extensions, CADMAN, CADMAN Reporting, Remove All Attributes. Pick the correct header file so it knows which attributes to remove from the model. So we'll type in the library, type BN, and select Yes for Remove Dictionary. When it's finished, if you try running a report, sometimes you'll see the library name, but it will show up as a blank report with no entries. Oftentimes the library name is removed completely and there's nothing to select for the report generator. There is our spreadsheet of summary values. There is a header for product page. This field is for a unique URL for a given component. This little hammer tool lets you hover over a component and if you click on it, it launches a website. It can be a product information page or for installation instructions or maintenance information. It's a way to give more information to the end user of the model. You can individually label items. Let's just pick a few items here. We'll make a new library, say My New Company, and we'll pick the header file. And notice this file has fewer headers than the last one. It adjusts the dialog to match. Fill out a couple of them here. I'll add in a product page URL finish changing some pricing. You can click through them accepting the defaults if you want, but it's probably best to fill them all out. And then we'll run a report on that new library we just added, My New Company. Open up that file and there's our stuff that we labeled, summary counted. I had only labeled three of them. So there is my new report for my new company. Let's go back and look at the previous report. See, it's much longer and it has more items. This was the CADMAN report. And here is the report for my new company. 
A product can carry multiple library entries and hence multiple URLs. Hover the hammer over it and it shows the various library names. If it has multiple URLs, you just pick the one you want. And there is some shameless self-promotion that sends it to one website for CADMAN and to another website for my new company for that same product. Let's create a third library, maybe to track inventory, and it will use a different header file that has far more fields. Maybe this is for inventory across the entire property. Then when we run a report, we now have three new libraries to pick from. Pick the third one and there's our report. We just generated a whole new set of fields for those objects. And there is the inventory column. Let's run a report on CADMAN. And those are exclusions. Those are the names the report will ignore. And notice in this file there's a whole series of components named component 1, 2, 3, etc. Well, if we open up the CM report modifications text file that's in your user plugins CADMAN report tools folder, we'll just add the word component. Save that file. And now when the report generator runs, it will take any component with the word component as part of the name and ignore it. It gets excluded from the report. And there it is. It told you that it had left out the word component from the report. So we'll look at that spreadsheet, and now this report has been adjusted to ignore some items in the model. This is a color and lengths report, just reports color and sizes across the file. Sometimes that's of use. You see it's a real simple header with width, depth, and height values, as well as colors or materials for each item. You can selectively assign attributes to things. Just pre-select the components and run the mass labeler. We'll call it CADMAN. And then we can turn on the rest of the model. And now we can run the mass labeler on the entire file with a different library. This will recurse through the entire model, searching into assemblies and groups for components to label. And we'll name this maybe Landscape Company. So now there's a library CADMAN and Landscape Company in this file. Some things have both libraries attached to them. Some have just CADMAN. The trees will have only landscape company. Run a CADMAN report, and it went through 90,000 items, and there's our report from the CADMAN library. Rerun that CADMAN report, but this time we will include non-attributes. What that means is that everything in the model will get put in the report, but if the name is not in the data file, it reports it with dashes in the fields instead of data entries. So anything that is entries was from our data file, and anything with dashes is open. You can also run a selective report by pre-selecting objects in the model, and it will only count the things within your selection. So you can report the whole file or just part of the file. From this case, we could do a quick cost estimate by just adding a totals column, making it multiply the cost per item times the quantity, flood fill that downwards, and sum that column at the bottom. And there is a quick takeoff on just a few items in our design. If you go to Extensions, CADMAN, CADMAN Reporting, 3D Library, what this does is export every component in the model, or in a selection, to a folder, 3D Lib, under where the model is on your computer. And these components will have all the attribute information already assigned to them. So we can now open up a new file, open a local collection in the component browser, and go to that 3 d Live folder, and there are all the plants. And we can create a new design with all these components. Anytime we use these in the future, they are instantly reportable. We'll build a quick little design here.
and then run a report on it. Oh, we have to save the file first. Run a report from the My Landscape Company. So this is a brand new file. We just used the components that we had labeled using our office information in them. And we can create a cost estimate. Just add a totals column, input the totals formula, flood that column downwards, and sum the column at the bottom. And there's a cost for a project that we just drew up. You can run the individual labeler on selected items anytime and change the entry values in the model. Type in a new library or pick an existing library. Here we review the fields based upon the plants spreadsheet. The form populates with the current values and we can change them. The individual labeler can add fields anytime. Let's add inventory fields to some of the plants. Select the landscape company library and use a set of inventory headers. Since these don't already exist in the landscape company library, they get added to these plants. Run a report and you see that these new inventory fields are in the report. And lastly, the Mass Labeler can apply attributes to each existing file in a library folder of component models. Select the external files from the Mass Labeler. Pick the data information file and give a name to the library and a folder for the finished labeled files. It will process each file in turn and if that file name is in the data file, it will apply the fields to it and save it to the finished folder. Well, I hope you find these tools are useful in your work.